it's Yvonne and welcome to having you on. It's time for another edition of In the Crib. Today's topic is a uh, showing recently on the show called The Doctors. This episode is 131. It was on season eight and I'm going to give you my opinion of the show but the segment was called, okay get ready for this. I hope you're sitting down because the segment was called Adults Raising Baby Dolls. Uh-huh. Yeah, adults raising baby dolls. I don't know how we raise them if they're not real, but that's their slant. Yeah, that is another missed opportunity <laughs> to, uh, to explain what these reborn dolls are. Yeah, another missed opportunity. We are once again made fun of that we actually believe that they're real. So yeah, it's a sad, sad state. But you know, if it can get more viewers, that's what they're going to do. And for the promotion of their show. And um, the psychotherapist they had on the show, she sits in the audience, I don't know why, but she sits in the audience. It's Stacy Kaiser. And she was there, it says so in their writing and description of the show, what she was there for. And she was supposed to shed light on what draws people to the hobby like this. These are their words. And whether or not it's healthy or not. Mm -hmm. That's their words. So you kind of know what slant it's going to go. You think it's going to be one thing, but then it's not. It's just a bunch of fluff. And I'm going to show bits and pieces of the show. I'm going to highlight pieces of the show, uh, what I want to talk about on what they said. I mean, you have to kind of pay real close attention to how they're acting, their body movements, and how they <laughs> degrade. <laughs> You'll, yeah, it's there. It's all there. It's just a television show. So I'm going to show some of the little bits and pieces of what I thought was most intriguing. And it's a, I'm, I'm sad. I mean, I think it's funny, but then I think it's sad at the same time. So go ahead and watch the parts that I wanted to highlight and I'll discuss it. And hold one of the babies. Couldn't. And it creeped me out. So I just wanted to know well, that so like... Now watch this. <laughs> this is one of the doctors on the panel. Uh, watch his body language when he asks this question. Is it a healthy hobby? Did you hear that? He's shaking his head at the same time. Shaking his head, no. No, it isn't a healthy hobby. Did you catch that? I didn't know if you caught that, so I just wanted you to see that. I wanted to point out <laughs> on how the question is directed to the therapist, the psychotherapist, uh, Stacy Kaiser. She's asked this question by this person here. She's asked this question. What is the psychopathic? Did you hear that? Psychopathic. Do you know what psychopathic means? Psychopathic analysis on this. On what? Okay, you have an artist on the show who's promoting her work and it's not so much talking about the hobby it's talking about her work it's not talking about collecting so much it's talking about making them and selling them so they're <laughs> disjointed on the panel and the invited reborn artist it's there. It's two different planes. I didn't understand what the link was. They're not really talking about the hobby, um, but they just want to know what the psychopathic, psychopathic analysis of this. Okay. What the show started to be and what it was. I don't know what part of it's scripted, part of it's impromptu. The people on the panel, it's somewhat impromptu. They have to ask certain questions. It's on their cards. But um, sometimes it's impromptu. Uh, this particular person is very impromptu of what she says. Listen to her comments. Is anybody in the audience freaked out about the realness? She, she 
says this line that was an impromptu line it wasn't under script and the psychotherapist Stacy Kaiser is scripted she's going to say her lines and <laughs> um, it was interrupted but she just ignores it and keeps on going but I also wanted to bring up again the title of the segment was called adults raising baby dolls but they don't really talk about that topic. They don't talk about it. Um, and then on another site, when you look up for the show, it's called, Would You Ever Buy a Realistic Doll? They never talk about, uh, you know, they never talk about why you would buy a realistic doll. They never talk about where you would buy a realistic doll. They never talk about the price points or is it expensive and what is it made out of? They don't talk about any of that. I don't understand what they're ho what what they're doing <laughs> at all i don't understand that so um i'm going to play a little bit more of the show for you and discuss more pathologic analysis. i love that line it psychopathic analysis go from a hobby to something that isn't quite right and so what i tell people is <laughs> okay this. i'm, I'm going to talk about the body language and you're enjoying them it can be comforting you know i, I was holding one for a little while you are okay it feels kind He's of rocking it and kissing it. Yeah. Did you hear? See, that isn't what was brought up. If they think that they need to change it, that isn't restaurant. what she said. Restaurants, if it's becoming real instead of I love the quotation marks for real. Someone on our show before where that was the case, taking dolls out restaurants. So this, this really does, it's a harmless hobby as long as it doesn't become something that takes over your life. The, the, as long as you are always aware that it isn't real. They're so lifelike and you're out, you do take them out in public. Yes. And well, the episode was called Adults Raising Baby Dolls. But when you look up this particular, uh, on another site, you will find it called, Would You Ever Buy a Realistic Baby Doll? There, it. it they didn't address either one of those topics. They titled something one way and they didn't even address it. I, I don't understand. They didn't title it, Would You Ever Buy a Realistic Doll? And um, they already answered it because the one doctor on the panel uh, says, um, isn't anyone in the audience freaked out about this realistic? <laughs> Uh, yeah, she says that. Is anybody in the audience freaked out? And then the therapist keeps on talking on her point. She's, she's going to continue because she's scripted. She's going to continue on her script because it was sort of an impromptu line up on the panel. And she ignores it and she just keeps on talking. I didn't know if anybody caught that, but it's scripted. Here we go. Something that isn't quite right. And so what I tell people <laughs> is this. If you're collecting them and you're enjoying them, it can be comforting. You know, I, I was holding one for a little while. You are. It feels kind of good. I'm replaying this one part. Comforting. You know, I, I was holding one for a little while. You are. It feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. And, she, and of course, the one on the panel thinks she's totally creeped out. I think it starts to get, I think you, can, you start to get concerned about a person's psychological well-being when, if they're really trying to feed it, Taking it to restaurants. Real instead of just. And we've actually profiled someone on our show before where that was the case, taking dolls out restaurants. So this this really does. It's a harmless hobby as long as it doesn't become something that takes over your life. As long as you are always aware that it isn't real. I didn't know if anybody caught that when they were talking about. Uh, we uh, know it's a doll until we take it out to a restaurant. Apparently, when we take it out to a restaurant, then we crossed over into thinking that it's real. Oh, isn't that interesting? Huh, we think it's real when we take it out to a restaurant. I didn't know that. Wow. Um, I don't know how anybody could believe that they're real. <laughs> I don't understand that. They don't even explain that at all. It's just fluff fluff and more disappointment it was a missed opportunity of explaining for real 
that they provide comfort and they are a great medicine for dealing with pain, dealing with loss, and they get the um, they get the um, the endorphins in the body, feeling good again. <laughs> so, I mean, in comfort. They don't talk about anything like that and it was such a sad 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 missed opportunity and uh, there we go again for fluff for television I just wanted to give you my opinion I am most annoyed by this one doctor that you see on the screen right now yeah um, but I just wanted to give you my opinion of the show and thanks for watching everyone uh, I'm going to um, take continue to take my babies out oh I'm sorry what were they called oh I'm going to continue to raise my baby dolls when I go out I'm going to go out and I'm going to take one to a restaurant and um, anybody that would like to join me on bringing your babies out to restaurants with you um, feel free because then you've crossed over to to um, <laughs> thinking that it's real once you take it out to a restaurant. So I'm going to go take my baby out to a restaurant, even though it's just a doll. <laughs> That's all for now. Take care.